This circuit is referred to a rectifier circuit. We have here a voltage source that is varying sinusoidally with time. Half the cycle it's greater than zero and half the cycle it's less than zero with an amplitude of V sub P. It's connected to a diode that is connected in a way that current can flow in this direction only. And as we've discussed, when it is flowing in that direction, the voltage across this diode will be zero. So when the input voltage is positive, the diode will be conducting. It'll be a short circuit, and the full input voltage will be seen across the resistor. Current will be flowing through here, and the voltage across here will equal the input voltage. But when the circuit, or when the source, reverses its polarity so that the voltage here is less than the voltage on this side of the circuit. The diode won't conduct. It's in a reverse bias mode and the entire voltage drop across this, or the entire um, source voltage will be dropped across the diode in a reverse bias polarity. Because it's not conducting, no current will be flowing through the resistor no current through the resistor will give a zero output voltage. So the output voltage V out will trace or reflect the input voltage as long as the input voltage is um, positive. But when it goes negative, the output voltage goes to zero and stays zero as long as the voltage is negative. The next positive going node that comes along or um, part of the cycle that comes along Again, we'll see that at the output. And so this circuit then serves as a rectifier. It removes negative voltage and passes only positive voltage. Schematically then, when we're in the positive part of the cycle, the switch is closed, the voltage drop is zero. During the negative part of the cycle, the switch is open and current is zero, so the output voltage is zero.